not, but, but I'm not talking about historically. I'm just talking about people always look. I have no hate for the SEC, none at all. I just think if most of the team and your teams in your conference suck, you can't do nothing. You can't have that conversation. Now, if you want to talk historically, yeah, some of the best football players in the history of football has come out the SEC. But most of those players did not come out of Ole Miss. Most of those players did not come out of Alabama. Uh, uh, you, I think you cannot make a conference on four or five teams when there's 16, 17 teams in that conference. That's all okay. I'm saying. Okay, by you, since you said that, I'm glad you brought that up. Once you get there, Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, Check this out. Stinks, right? Consistently. Consistently. Not one or two years here and now. Consistently. Okay, that's, but that's what you're getting from the that's what you getting from the big deal. Right. I'm just so that's my point though. Truck, that's my point. Consistently a top twenty-five team. Wisconsin consistent. I, 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 I don't know about that. Hey, Iowa, Iowa. Maybe the last two or three years. No, no, they I'm not at the. No, no, no. Over ten years, over ten years, man, I wouldn't say they've been top twenty-five over ten years. Top, hey, hey, they, they, they twenty-four, twenty-five, but they be in the top twenty-five at the end of the season. No BS, no BS. I'm not well, going. Yeah, that's that's a. That's, uh, I mean, you can say that about who. Uh, like you said, Texas A&M or... or I don't count Texas A&M as big... Just like Maryland. They ain't been there for 10 years, but I'm right, saying somebody right. like... But look, look. Wisconsin, consistently in the top 25. Penn State, consistently in the top 25. Michigan, consistently in the top 25. Michigan State, that's only one team less. <laughs> and then... Even before though we, before we fell off when we had a coach Palmer, we was in the damn top twenty five every year. We just having a bad run right now. When Tennessee when Tennessee was on top, they stayed in the top twenty five when Palmer coached our team. You are one thousand percent correct. We just going through a bad stretch right now. So that's why I was saying, are we talking about current or over the you know, over the history? Because like teams like Arkansas, Arkansas used to be good every year. They Until Big L moved up. Right they gonna need yeah, to kick Big L out like, the state. They're I'm not. They, like, go ahead. They're not gonna be good until they kick Big L out the state. <laughs> but listen, I, I, I admit that the SEC going through a bad run right now. But we don't went through this stretch from back when Florida. We went through like a eight, a ten year stretch where the SEC won a national championship like eight or ten years in a row. And don't say it was just Alabama because the LSU won one, Auburn won one, Florida won a couple, Alabama won. I mean, it was different teams with it. It wasn't just one team. No, and I'm not, I'm not disputing that, Truck. But what I'm saying is this. If you got Florida, there's no dispute in Florida. There's no, you know what? I would even throw your school in there, Tennessee. I would even throw your school in there because 
I I used to. I'm, I'm a T. Martin fan. I go I go that far back with them. I, I'm a oh, Carl yeah. Pickens fan, so you know I, I've been paying attention for a while. Right, right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you know, your, you know your sports, your football. But all I'm saying is, when people start running this nonsense about it ain't nothing like this, we can go over the same period of time and point out other conferences that look good as well. People, all I'm saying is this, Trump, people act as if the whole conference is just mauling the whole NCAA. But you know that's media speak right that's, there. That's what, and that's my point. I don't. I don't disrespect other conferences. I like, I mean, I, I respect, like, Michigan and, and teams like that in other conferences. I respect that Oklahoma, you know, teams from the other conferences. I mean, I have my respect for them, but they got storied, storied passes, right? But I don't, I don't brag that, you know, it's all about the SEC because I know it's some other tough conferences out, I mean, other tough teams and other conferences out there. But I'm saying as overall, Overall, if you take over, take up, take, uh, we ain't talking about the history, but if you start taking the history of conference overall, SEC, you know, I, it, it really ain't, I, I hate to say it like it, but it really don't compare to other conferences when it comes to like titles and, and stuff like that on overall conference. But you know what I'm saying? Like we got some, like this is a bad, this might be a bad year for the SEC right now. I just, you know what? I think the top of that. My my point of view is this: I don't think, I think mainstream media totally disrespects the rest of the NCAA, and I think, like most conferences, the top of the conference is is hard. The rest of the conference is horrible, and that's right. with most conferences. They yeah, all conferences. I, I say all conferences. Exactly. Like all conferences top heavy, and then you got your little scrubs and all the fighting for at the bottom. Exactly. But, the, but my thing is, the SEC got more, is more top, have more people at the top than lower bottom teams. But okay, what about the ACC? ACC. The ACC I, is because if you look at them teams in the ACC, they are not to be played with. I don't know. I just said we I don't know. But, look, I mean, uh, but I'm just saying, I'm not talking about historically. I'm talking about historically. Uh, histo- well, I know Miami Florida State historically, yeah. And then Syracuse got a, 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 a very good history. Clemson Syracuse. was good at the end of the 70s, mid 80s. They fell off and then they back now. They back right. That's what happened with real good franchises. They right. fell off. regretting that now, truck. You know they regretting that now. Right, because, man, we done went through four coaches already since he's been gone. And see, you know what I'm and then people, see the thing is, truck, man, this is my opinion. We don't have real sports fans on TV anymore. We have stat people on TV. And when you say, oh, he only won nine games, that lets you know your ass ain't never strapped up. Your ass ain't right. never played tackle in the streets. You ain't never played no game. You ain't never been on nobody's team and come out your mouth and say, only nine games. Oh, they only but won you know, 80% of their games. What the hell? Right. You made me laugh earlier. You said something about something that Mike Greenberg did. And I laughed because I was thinking, myself, man, Greg, Greg Greenberg ain't never even skipped a damn football. Exactly. Because, you know what? I get to no opinion. This motherfucker said about no damn football. <laughs> Exactly. It's like, man, you and, and, and I like Greenberg, but it's too many of those dudes, like the little boy who played, he'd be sitting up there with Chris Carter and Max Kellerman. They ain't never played nothing competitively and, in his whole life. And, and they experts. Well, the numbers say this. The numbers don't tell you who's good. The numbers have nothing to do with who's good. 
But they still, cause they still lying on that, and they love the hell out of uh, Baker Mayfield. Hey, oh, say it again. I can't figure that one out yet. Say it again, man. Uh, oh, well, he he need help. Oh yeah, yeah, he need help. Well, who the hell won a Super Bowl by their damn self? Eleven on right. one. Who don't need help? You know what right. I'm saying? <laughs> that, that's, yeah, man. That, 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 this is, that's what I'm saying. That's why I do my show, man. My show is for the sport fan. I don't, I don't need ten million stats. I can look at the TV and say that boy good. That right. boy can play football. Like I don't lie to you. Yeah. You know that can be uh, you know, deceiving. Yeah, oh, he only had this many yards. Did he make the play? You know who's you know who taught me that? Jim McMahon. Jim McMahon, uh, uh, do you know he only had two three hundred game three hundred yard games in his career? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> two. But when it was time when it was fourth and eight, the ball hit the dude. That's the only dude I've ever seen hit Willie Galt in stride. And he had the worst arm in football. Only guy I ever seen hit Willie Galt in stride. He had to slow down. He had to jump. He had to do nothing. He just whoop, hit him in stride because he's a football player. And then football it, player. a football player. See, people think, oh man, the numbers and this and the stats and that. Jalen Hurts learning four different playbooks over a four year period. How the hell does that make me good or bad? <laughs> no. But, and here's another thing they do with Dak, though. They'll, they'll find about four or five to play where he, he might have missed the throw. Yeah. Oh, Dak can't throw downfield. He, he's throwing all off. But they'll, they'll never show another play where he'll get a, hit a deep ball with a motherfucker in between in between two defenders. And they'll show them plays. But yeah, they'll show a three or four plays where he might have missed somebody. Yeah, he ain't never hit Galloway deep. I guess I, 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 I guess y'all missed those plays. So right. it's... It, it, I mean, I, I'm gonna talk about that that shit later, man. As soon as I get off the phone, as soon as I finish this college, I'm going straight to pro. And I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna go basketball, and I'm gonna go to pro. And I'm gonna talk okay. about that that shit because it, 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 that's pissing me off. And and, and I, I want it, I, you might need to call back when I talk about Dallas because I want to hear your point of view since you and D great Dallas fans. I want to hear y'all point of view on uh the whole situation with this contract nonsense and everybody trying to act like they stupid. Man, no. hey, hey, man, you, you got the. Huh? You heard shit that, uh, you heard shit that, uh, was it, uh, was it, uh, nah, he was talking, that was Cap, that was Capitan. Somebody said some shit about that. You know, one of them motherfuckers, I don't know if it's Chris, Chris, uh, Carter, one of them old coon ass niggas been talking shit about that, man. It was probably Chris you know, Carter. Cause. You hear the Chris Carter, uh, what's Stephen that A. That? It wasn't him. Morning football, uh, what's that? Uh, dude, name is it Burleson, Nate or whatever his damn name is? Might be Nate, Nate or or, or the boy who used to play with Green Bay. I can't remember. I, I can't remember. Some of them said something about Jack Man, and it just, it just kind of pissed me off because it was like another brother, man. Yeah, Jack Man was like a brother, man. It, you know, and then they'll talk about Baker Mayfield like he's the next coming uh Joe Montana or something. But this ain't done shit. He ain't done shit, but hit wide open linebackers when the season was on the line. He hit. He hit Motley in the middle of his numbers like he was throwing to him for the game. <laughs> you don't hear none of that shit though. Oh well, he won six. He won six they, out of the seven games. Yeah. They forgot uh, that rookie year when he set the record for uh, most uh, completion or something without an interception. Oh, yeah. that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing no more. And I'm trying to but figure that, out. That wasn't Jack doing. But I better damn Baker Mayfield did some shit like that. What? You know, They'll throw a parade. Like They'll cancel the Super Bowl and throw a parade for him. <laughs> that that just, that just be bothering me too, man. What you said. I mean, I mean, I'm a fan of the team, so it's gonna bother me even a little, even more. But I just hope he just keep on just showing that he ain't gotta, he ain't gotta worry about no accolades. You know what you know, I would? I know that's your team, Trump. But you know what I'd like them to do? I would like Dak Prescott to tell Jerry Jones to kiss his ass. And go play for the Tennessee Titans. But they gonna they gonna cut Mariota ass. I would tell them, man, fuck y'all. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it a little later. I'm gonna get into it. Call you got the number, call back truck, man. Thanks for tuning in, brother. Keep listening, bro. All right, man. That's my man Chuck D. He's awesome. He's a fellow member of the podcast community. I saw Big L throw some more jibber jabber. When was the last time Michigan State, Iowa, Wisconsin won a championship? 
the year before Arkansas did. 